Good morning. Today was a good news, bad news type of day. The good news is, is that I reset my camera and now the video looks terrific. The bad news is that after six days of walking, my body is starting to complain. I felt like something was off when I rolled into Fuente de Cantos. I needed to rest. At the end of this video, I share my thoughts on keeping up with hydration and nutrition while out on the trail. Come join me on my walk on the Camino Via de la Plata. It is Wednesday morning and I am on my way to Fuente de Cantos. It's a 12.8 mile walk and hopefully I'll get there by one o'clock and hopefully it won't be uh, really hot um, in the afternoon or at least at the end of my walk like it was yesterday. I do know that the terrain, uh, the um, altitude change is uh, you know, not too big of a deal. So that'll make it a little bit easier. Um, I am super happy to report that I think I fixed my camera. I just reset it to the original settings and already I can see what a difference. Hopefully this will translate into better video. My past few videos I've not been very proud of because the, the video, the color and everything is just off just doesn't really give this trip any justice because it's really been a beautiful trip. The architecture, the landscape, the scenery, it's all been just very lovely. So without further ado, here we go.
Camino. Buen camino. Okay, well, just to catch you up. So yesterday when I walked into Fuente de Cantos, I didn't feel so great. My legs were just on fire. And no matter what I did, I hydrated, I tried resting, I tried taking some ibuprofen. It just wouldn't settle down. So for me, I know that that's a sign of dehydration and I probably needed some rest. So what I decided to do was take today off. And instead of walking to Zafra, I took a cab to Zafra. Now, I don't really have any rest days planned on this trip. I'm supposed to be walking every single day in order to make my goal of hitting Krakaris by the 7th. So I had to make up that distance somehow. So that's why I took a cab. And you know what? It was the best thing. I'm so happy that I did it. I was able to get some rest, uh, have a leisurely morning, have my cafe con leche, and you know, took the cab, I was able to see the cathedral, do some walking around, have a big, I had a big lunch, and yeah, it was a really good thing to do. Um, this kind of leads me into something that I've wanted to talk to you about, and that is nutrition and hydration on the Camino. So for those of you who don't know, I've been a nurse for over 30 years now, so I do pay attention to these sorts of things. And I know that the food that you get here on the Camino, it's not always the best food, unless you're really, you know, sharp at like seeking it out. You're kind of challenged sometimes to get really good nutritional food. A lot of the food that they serve here in the bars is fried. Uh, there's a lot of French fries. There's a lot of bread. And although, you know, calories are calories to some extent, I realize these foods are nutritionally Poor. So for me, what makes me feel better about eating that food uh, is that A, I only eat it while I'm here in the Camino, and B, while I'm here in the Camino, I also supplement. And my particular supplement of choice is this. I am not sponsored by this company. Um, I just find it to be a pretty comprehensive um, assortment of, you know, vitamins and minerals and probiotics, and my body seems to agree with it. So yeah, I brought up enough of that so that I could have at least one packet, if not two packets a day. And I, I mean, I swear by it, I think it really helps. And then the other thing that I think really helps that I think is an absolute essential for anybody walking the Camino is some sort of electrolyte replacement. It's hot here, you sweat a lot, you lose a lot of your electrolytes. So at the very least, you know, drink a Aquarius. Uh, that's the regional drink that they have here. It's, um, it's actually very tasty. It's like a sports drink. I don't know if it has sugar or not, um, but yeah, you can drink Aquarius, all the bars have it, or you can get yourself some electrolyte packets or tablets like I have and supplement yourself that way on a daily basis as well. I think it's super important.
Okay, I'm gonna get off my soapbox right now. Um, enough of the self-care talk. I think self-care is super important. Um, I don't think the Camino is for suffering, at least not in my case, I'm not here to suffer. Um, so yeah, while you're here, it might be a good idea to pay attention to self-care. Um, I wanna just encourage everyone to do that. In fact, with this channel, I would like to encourage everyone to do that by walking more and getting out more and seeing the world more. I think that that's self-care as well. So if you like this video and if you like my channel, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. It helps my videos to reach other people and hopefully then I can spread the word about, you know, taking care of yourself, getting out there, walking. Hopefully I can inspire other people to do the same thing. Hopefully I can inspire other women to do the same thing, travel solo. Um, it's been good. I've had a very wonderful time traveling solo. I've traveled with my husband, have a great time doing that as well. So yeah. That's enough for now. Um, I will leave you with that. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.